Carson Reading Day. Ben Carson Reading Day is a very special day. It's a day to celebrate something that you should be doing every day, reading. Hello, my name is Amy Warner and I'm the Executive Director of the Carson Scholars Fund. Over the past 10 years, I've had the distinct pleasure to work with one of my role models, Dr. Ben Carson. Dr. Ben Carson is a retired pediatric neurosurgeon. A pediatric neurosurgeon fixes disorders of the brain and nervous system. However, at one point, Dr. Ben Carson was a student just like you are. And unfortunately, he wasn't a very good student, so he almost didn't realize his dream of becoming a doctor. Today, in honor of Ben Carson Reading Day, we're going to share the story Anything is Possible, the Ben Carson story. It's based on Dr. Ben Carson's life story. The book is being read by people who are special to Dr. Carson and also know the importance of reading. Anything is Possible, the Ben Carson story. And you know, the dedication is to the best mom ever. It starts out, who is your favorite person in the whole world? Perhaps it's one of your parents or grandparents, a sister, a brother, a teacher, or a friend. My favorite person, and this is Ben Carson talking, my favorite person is my mom because she taught me to think big. My mom encouraged my brother and me to turn off the television and read books, a lot like your parents do. The library became one of my favorite places to visit. Reading every day helped me become a better student and even inspired me to dream. I discovered that magical things happen when you open a book. I learned that you can go anywhere and do anything between the covers of a book. Reading helped me go from the worst in my class to the best. I remember mom saying, you can do it, Benny, because anything is possible. And you know what? I believed her. It had been a bad day, a rough day for Brett. Today was a day that he'd like to forget. He got a bad grade on a big science test. He was unhappy and very distressed. Will my mother be mad? Will she think that I'm dumb? He walked home from school feeling gloomy and glum. Brett entered his house, his heart filled with dread. I got a bad grade, Mom. I'm sorry, he said. His mother asked, Brett, did you try your best? Did you study hard for the big science test? Mom, I can't study. I don't think I'm bright. I'd still get bad grades if I studied all night. Mom, I'm so frustrated, I want to shout. I'm just about ready to pull my hair out. Now, Brett, Mom replied, you need to calm down. Can you try to smile? Get rid of that frown. In life, you'll go through tough times now and then. You must overcome them, like my friend, Ben. Ben was raised by a wonderful mother. She took care of Ben and Curtis, his brother. She raised them alone with no help from their dad. He lived far away, and that made the boys sad. Ben's life was hard. He got bad grades in school. Mean kids in his class called him dummy and fool. The kids laughed at Ben when he got answers wrong. This made him feel bad, like he didn't belong. Ben dreamed of becoming a doctor someday, but that dream was in danger of slipping away. He did poorly in school, was in trouble a lot. Med schools would not like the grades that he got. His mom sat him down. Benny, listen to me. Focus. Try harder. You'll make it, you'll see. Anything is possible. I have faith in you. If you work really hard, your dreams will come true. If you read more, you'll learn more. It's simple, you see. If you want to succeed, well then, reading's the key. Read two books a week, Mom said with a wink. Reading will help bring your grades up, I think. Then write a report about every story. Describe if it's funny or scary or gory. Does the book make you laugh? Is it long? Is it short? Include every detail within your report. Two books a week, Ben sighed and he groaned. And book reports too, he frowned and he moaned. But he listened to mom. He walked down the street. He went to the library, dragging his feet. He looked on the shelves. There were books about trees, 
books about race cars and mountains and bees, books about dinosaurs, spaceships, and clocks. Ben picked up books that were all about rocks. As he started to read, he soon understood why his mom thought a book would do him some good. He was learning a lot and enjoying it too. With each book that he read, his intelligence grew. Then early one day, something happened at school. Something that made him feel special and cool. Mr. Jake was one of the science teachers. He taught about plants and rivers and creatures, earthquakes and mountains and bright shiny stars, sound waves and icebergs and planets like Mars. As he taught about rocks, he held one in the air. Who knows what this is? Asked Jenny and Claire. The girls did not know, and neither did Ken. But someone did know, and that someone was who? Ben. Ben, right. Obsidian, Ben said, is the name of the rock. Ben knew the answer. The class was in shock. Mr. Jake grinned and said, Ben, you are right. Ben was so happy, he smiled with delight. He learned about rocks in a book that he read. That book made me smart, he thought in his head. My mother was right, he said, reading's the key. The more that I read, the brighter I'll be. So Ben read his school books and newspapers too. He read magazines, he read old books, and new. He read all that he could, and then one happy day, he brought home a Tusker, and it was an A. His mom was so happy, she jumped on a chair. She squealed as she waved her arms in the air. Benny, she said, do you know what this means? Good grades will help you to follow your dreams. I bet you'll become a doctor someday. Anything is possible. You got an A. That A was the first of many for Ben. Soon he was smarter than Joey and Glenn. He achieved better grades than Amy and Sue. He earned higher scores than Connie and Lou. Ben finished his schoolwork faster than Wade. He was the smartest kid in his grade. As he got older, his goals were quite clear college, then med school, and start a career. Ben's plan for success was ambitious indeed. He worked really hard so that he would succeed. His dream of becoming a doctor came true. He even became a brain surgeon too. Ben loved being a doctor. Throughout his career, he helped lots of patients year after year. When kids needed surgery, Ben was right there. He treated his patients with love and with care. He soon became known as the best in his field because most of his patients got better and healed. Sometimes Ben traveled to different locations to help those in need in faraway nations. Africa, Germany, to name just a few, he went to Australia, Singapore too. From country to country and coast to coast, Ben tried to help those who needed him most. So that is the story about my friend Ben. He overcame problems again and again. Ben had struggles in life that caused him distress, but he worked hard in school and became a success. Brett, be like Ben. Get your books out and read. Put in some effort so you can succeed. Anything is possible if you're willing to try. Be just like Ben and set your goals high. Brett asked his mom about how she knew about Ben. She said, well, I met him when I was just 10. When I was a child, I got very sick. Dr. Ben helped me to feel better quick. I will always be grateful, Mom said to Brett. He's certainly someone I'll never forget. After hearing Ben's story, Brett thought to himself, Ben's journey began with a book on a shelf. I'll start my own journey. I'll follow Ben's lead. Brett took out a book and he started to read. If I read several books, then maybe I'll be a doctor, a lawyer, a sailor at sea, a banker, an astronaut flying through space, a nurse, a detective solving a case. If I work hard enough, then maybe someday I'll be president of the USA. Anything is 
possible. And I think that's the end, because the rest is about think big. When Dr. Carson was a young boy, he dreamed of becoming a doctor. What do you want to be when you grow up? What can you do to help make your dreams come true? It has been a pleasure to spend Ben Carson Reading Day with you. I hope that you enjoy your school celebration. And remember to always think big and read as much as you possibly can. Thank you.